you're ready. Just go. Yep. Okay. Hello, this is Robert here, talking to Dave, uh, and uh, just working on, I've got two new chords here, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, which I've been working on for some time, and um, I learned from the this month. It's a good idea to play with your elbow to get lots of notes in all at once. More, <laughs> more notes for your buck. I've got to. Um, I find myself doing a, a brief appearance, um, with, uh, with Paul Weller and his mates uh, on the 16th of um, December this year, in Brighton at the Dome, and because uh, Paul Weller's thinks I can do things I can't do. He, he doesn't realise that it takes me hours just to put my notes together in the studio. Uh, and it's, give, it's given the false impression that I can play <laughs> instruments just like that. And uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll do a couple of songs with him and I don't know. But I mean, he, he's singing really well at the moment. He's, got, he's developed a lovely voice. He's got a whole new thing going in the last few years. So it would be nice. Plus, there's lots of this, but half a dozen other bands on, and uh, I think they've underestimated um, how long it's going to take. They think they can get it in from seven to ten or something like that. There's about six bands, you know. There's one wonderful band there called Stealing Sheep, whom I recommend them unreservedly. A wonderful band, Stealing Sheep, and some others that I don't know, but they seem all right. Seem probably very good. But the point is, uh, we're all there, just simply a fundraising thing. It's not a paid gig, obviously. It's a fundraising thing for uh, for Jeremy Corbyn's campaign because Jeremy Corbyn is not taking money from the Labour Party. Who the Labour Party? A bloke called Ian McNichol uh, uh, is basically he's part of the gang that that got all these people to pay twenty five pounds to join the Labour Party and then told them they couldn't vote. You know, obviously he's got a really nice man, and uh, I wouldn't have a word said against him. Uh, well, not any word that you can say in public. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, Jeremy is being pushed out from the inside of the Labour Party while he's being pushed in from the outside by all of us who think he's a breath of fresh air. And uh, I, mean, I think Clem Attlee, who, who set up the National Health Service, he was a bit wary of lefties. And to be doing credit, he did set up the National Health Service, free education, that sort of thing. So he did a great job. But he was a public school boy and uh, he was sitting around with Bernard Shaw and some other leftists of his generation and said, said do you have to have a beard to join this club? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, man. But, uh, so, uh, what can you do? If I shave, I look like a bullfrog. I'm not a beard stain. Sorry, Clem. But anyway, yeah, so it's... Uh, <coughs> we'll be uh, towards the end of the evening... Um, he met just before. I think um, Jeremy's going to come on and say something, and then it's going to be topped off by a band called Farm. Because it's out. But if, if anybody's still there by the time we get on, or haven't just disappeared into the bar, or off to look around the beautiful sights of Brighton, um, we'll be. Step I wanted to have, for me, the theme tune of an English television pro program about old kits called Last of the Summer Wine, <laughs> to introduce us. But I thought that'd be a bit true to everybody else. <laughs> if I was doing it on my own, I said that would be my introductory theme music. But uh, Paul and his band are absolutely not the last of anything. They're raving. They're so good. So it'd be a nice gig, but uh, not because I'm there. But I will be there. So uh, anyway, that's all I can say. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.